Hey guys, this is going to be a video to show you how to change your views. Um, change your view in your dashboard app or change them in any of your apps. Um, so what you want to do is you can pick which view is already in there and is closest to what you're going for. Um, for me, I want to take all the new items and see only my new items. I don't care about the rehab manager or the administrator. I only care about me, Jennifer Jesse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the my new items and I'm going to start there. And then I'm going to filter it down further. So I'm going to click this filter and I'm going to click on assigned to. And I'm going to, um, if I'm only in one role, I would just click that role. I am actually, of this, I'm going to be the owner and the acquisition manager. I'm in two different roles, but see, I'm not in any of the others. So I'm going to narrow down my view for only my roles. All right. So once I do that, there you go. Now I see only my new items. So I'm going to hit save as and I'm going to create a new view. Don't overwrite the current view um, unless you no longer want that view, but if you just click create new view. Um, and then okay, I'm going to keep this one a private view um, and then you can sort it. We're like this one is just one view and you can click on it and you can get all 13. This one you can kind of, you can see kind of shaded out here a little bit, but it's sorted by priority. High, normal, low. So you, you get all the new items, but all the high new items, all the normal new items. Or just click this and you can get to all of them. So on these, I think I'm just going for fun, I'm going to separate them by date. So I can either separate them by the due date, which ones are due, coming up due, or when they were created. Um, I'm going to just do created on. And so basically I can separate it as what was created today versus what was created yesterday, what was created the day before yesterday. Um, so a daily created on view. Um, and I'm going to hit save that. So now at the bottom under my private views, here I go. I've got just my items and then if I had more than just the ones from today I would have all these dates and I could click on which date which one I was looking forward to you can filter these down change them switch your views up however you like alright and then if you decide that you don't like the view that it's in so click on it here like we have and let's change it up again you know let's not uh, let's not let's see we we'll keep the the one assigned um, what else do we want to do to it we could sort them A to Z we could um, you know sort them the oldest first the most the ones the that I uh, haven't had any activity on recently um, you know we could have sorted them any old way um, let's see what else could we do? We could change up the way it looks here as well. So we could say we don't care about, you know, who it's assigned to because I know it's me. Um, or the relation to item. We could get straight to the description or the due date. So now I can take these views here. And if this is the way that I like to see it, I can save it again. And I can, you know, this is, again, I'm under my private view. I can overwrite my private view. Or if I want to create a whole new one, I'll just hit create a new. I'm going to actually overwrite this one so it doesn't create a new one. Um, and maybe on this one, I will split it by the due day. Um, like, what what's my weekly due date, you know? So, um, so then I can get it what's due this week, what's due next week, what's due, you know, future weeks or even what's due past weeks. Of course, those will show up here in the overdue items for everybody. Um, but there you go. That's how you can change views, uh, set your own private views. Now, remember, um, the private views are below the team views. If you want to set, these are team views. If you want to set views just for yourself, keep them private. If you want to set a view that you think will be beneficial to everybody, you know, when you save it, save it as a team view and it'll go up here. Um, this, this first one is basically just 
every dashboard item, everything that's ever been part of it is always the first view. The second view is one that we set, um, and that's your default view. When you come in um, as a you know brand new person, brand new going into the app, it'll go into your default view. And then most of the time, if you stay logged in, um, just whichever view you last got in and out of, it'll just stay on that view as well. All right, hope that was helpful.